Hey guys, welcome back to Abundant Life Coaching. And today I want to talk about work. Um, work has gotten a bad rap over the years. Um, I mean, back in the World War I, World War II era, you know, the, the men and the women who comprised that generation were known for their work and they were admired for that work. And now it, work is something that um, young people, especially, I'm not trying to beat up young people, but somehow they come into it thinking the goal is to try to find a way to make a lot of money without having to work really hard. And I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to be mean or politically incorrect. I'm not trying to slam anybody, but that's just what it seems like it's out there that, that we're trying to find a way to make a lot of money without working hard. And I kind of want to address that because I think that's, that's really incorrect in the sense that work is not bad for us. Work is not uh, negative. In fact, one of the things that I love about my job, I'm a general contractor, full-time uh, abundant life coach on the side. One of the things I love about my job is I never have to go home at the end of the day and wonder if I should exercise. I mean, over the last five, six years when I've, as I've had this job, I have um, lost probably mm, only five to 10 pounds, but I have really leaned up and I haven't even had to exercise once. My job has a lot of movement and it's a lot of variety of movement. Um, not too much heavy stuff, but just constant movement. And you can't put a price on feeling good at the end of the day. Going up and down stairs at 61 doesn't bother me at all. And I know some of that's genetics, I understand that. But I guarantee you, I feel a ton better now at the end of every day after a hard day's work than I did most days at my desk job when I, at my earlier career. I love the way I feel at the end of a hard day's work. And if you go all the way back to the beginning, right? Um, in the Bible, there's a story, uh, again, whether you believe it or, or not, as far as the truth of the story, um, that there's a point that's made many, many years ago by the author of the Bible. And the point is in the garden, Adam and Eve, they're given a job to do. They're given work to do. And the unique thing is it's they're given work to do before the curse, before Eve and Adam ate the apple. Work's not a bad thing. Work is seen from the very beginning as a good thing, something valuable to do. Something happens when you work. Something happens even better when you work hard. You get to see your accomplishment. You get this feeling of satisfaction. I think it's kind of like courage. Every time you're courageous, your heart sort of nods. Yeah, that fits me. Same thing with hard work. There's something about hard work that when you get done with it and you take a look at what you accomplished or you just feel the uh, exhaustion of hard work in a good direction, there's something inside of you that just nods in agreement with that. If you have trouble working in a positive direction, working toward, um, you know, growth, working toward a new uh, goal in your life, working toward change, you might just need some help. You might have fallen into that category in your mind or in your heart where work is sort of a negative thing and maybe you need someone to come alongside of you. Maybe two can do what one cannot. Maybe if you join forces with somebody and you attack this together, maybe you can learn to um, have, get a better mindset toward work and start to enjoy work and start to look forward to work. And once that happens, watch out. Watch out about what you can accomplish what you can change, what you can grow into if you learn to work hard. And maybe all you need is someone to stand beside you and help you to learn to work hard, to understand it, and to change the way you think. I'd love to be that guy. Go to my webpage, it's a YouTube page, but go to rogerpeterson.com, right? It's Peterson is spelled S-O-H-N, rogerpeterson.com. Check out the videos. If you think I can help, send me an email. Let's get together. I uh, would love to join forces with you and see about change and growth and work in your life.